How's everybody doing? It's Sam from Paper Vessels. Um, wanted to come on here and show you what I've made for a recent swap that Mommy and Me, Patty, is hosting. It's a really a vintage um, Christmas themed swap. Um, we are doing an ornament. We could either put it together or put it in there as a kit for everyone to make themselves when they get the kits. Um, there is sequin mix involved. There was also a um, ribbon. A, I think it was like a yard of ribbon and then like a bead dangle for it. There's probably more that I'm going to remember as I'm going along. So there's that. I'm always forget any, forgetting everything. And it's really early. I'm trying to do this before I head out to work kind of behind on what I had planned to do but you know nothing ever happens like you plan right everybody's still asleep so hopefully this video will be a lot more quiet as far as background noise we'll see um so what I ended up doing was making like little books and these are not my idea this is totally inspired by um Yuki who is Atelier Pony I always say her name wrong I'll have to put a link for her Instagram, but I'm always saying her name wrong. So I made one especially for Patty. So I just put a little tag on there so it wouldn't get all mixed up with everything else. Uh, but this is basically the front. It's got some, you know, a shaker in the front, this little hole. These were actually really nice uh, thick chipboard that I found a long time ago at Tuesday morning. And it has this part cut out, so you'll see what I did with the cutout in a minute. But again, this is totally, this book, the look of this as far as how it was put together, totally inspired by Yuki. Um, so I appreciate her so much. I learned so much from her and get so much from her. So thanks, girl. Um, inside, I happened to find in my local scrapbook store, mom and pop store, they had a little bit of the Hey Santa so I have a few things incorporated in these from that. I thought that was a nice surprise to be able to find those. So I did on the front lots of painting with our glitterati that we all love. You can kind of see on the inside a little bit of that Hey Santa paper that I sewed together, strips. I wanted the strips to go in a certain order and the paper was already set up in strips and I just didn't like the order for it, you know, how it would be showing through the cutout. So I kind of Put those in different um, order and then sewed them together um, and then here's another Santa so cute on the outside I did use some vintage chenille that I had so I thought that looked really cute with this and this is the ornament that they can kind of put together um, the pockets there's one in front one in the middle and then one in the back so it's nice they'll be able to take it out and do their own little storage. So I painted this kind of to match a little with most of the books and they're all a little different, you'll see that. And this is what they can decorate. This cutout is from Yuki. They can either put that on there um, or some of the other cutouts that I've included. I'm not necessarily telling them how to do it exactly. I feel like in my group, in this group of girls, in this group of ladies, there is a lot of creativity so I figured I would just give them kind of a freestyle so they can just figure out how they want to do it on their own. They're super creative and I know they'll make some really cool ones. And I don't, I feel like every ornament's going to be a little individualized. You know, they're not going to all be the same. So I really like that. I like, you know, just being different. So that's kind of what the idea I came up with. I did some cutouts for them. I have some die cuts. I included some snowflakes. This one is a cabochon. And then these are like little buttons that can be sewn on. So I know when I when they open these, their imagination will go wild and they'll make some really cool ornaments. So I'm looking forward to see to seeing how they put them together. I found another thing that I found in my local um, scrapbook store, mom and pop store, was some Martha Stewart stickers. And they are holiday. How cool is that? It's just so nice to kind of go through all the treasure trove that's you know in that scrapbook store there's always just different things every time I go and there's some things that have been there for a minute so it's sometimes 
lucky, I can get lucky and find some past collections. So that's awesome. I included a little bow from, um, is it Crafty Gal Shop? I will put links below because I never remember everybody's names. And I like to shop, so I buy from quite a few different people and I get them all mixed up. Sorry, girls. Um, another little embossed foiled scrapbook paper, which is really cute. Another one here. Um, I did a little envelope. That's another thing we were supposed to include. I knew I was going to forget something. Um, a gift card holder. So I made, I made one out of some embossed paper. This is also, actually, I don't even know. Don't, don't listen to me. I don't know if that's from Hey Santa. I think these are, but this one I think is something else. I think it's Bow Bunny or something. Who knows? I got no memory. So that is in there. Gift card holder. Um, this one's specifically for, for Patty. So I included, if you saw the video of my junk journal that I made her, I included some wire that had like little bows on it to hold some stuff together for her. She really liked it. I really like it. So I went back to my little mom and pop scrapbook store, which is where I got some of these other things. They have other colors. How cool is that? So I included some of those in here. Um, and then made her a little bead, bead dangle. Hers is very different from everyone else's. So that's in here. And then when you put it in here, they kind of, you know, stick out on top. So it's just more zhuzh for it. So I think that came out really cute. There's another bow, um, that I got from one of our Instagram shops. Cute little beads at the end. Um, the back is decorated as well. I put my little signature in there and I found a little stamp. How cute is that? Love it. So I just like the way they all turned out. I'm also going to be including, um, I just recently got some vintage mini Christmas cards. How cute is that? So I'm going to be, and look at the tiny envelope. I'm going to be including one of these in each one. Again, I don't know who's going to be getting these other than the one I made for Patty. So I will be just putting some little notes in there for everyone. Um, this is another one that I created. I love that. I incorporated, I have a couple of people from Instagram too that I shop from and they have really cute vintage shops. I've shared those a few times. They are so awesome and always have some of the best stuff. And I think I, that's where I got this from. Um, it's just like a vintage yarn, super cute. There's another one of those bows. Um, there's the chenille. Everybody's is a little different. You'll see this one's painted different as well. I put a little bit of, of a metal, um, a metal accent on here. And this was Martha Stewart also. I just kind of painted over it. It was dark. It was black. So I painted over it to make it, you know, go a little bit more since these are all pastels. There's Santa. And that's from the more recent collection. I forget the name. I'm terrible at names. Uh, more cutouts from Yuki. There's the snowflakes. More cutouts. This is her ornament that she's going to be able to decorate. Um, some more die cuts and, you know, the reverse die cuts so they can use those. I figured those are definitely still usable, so I included those. Um, more die cuts. Martha Stewart sticker, bow. A little bit of an extra um, piece from Hey Santa. There's a back. It's double-sided. Cute paper. Cute collection. Um, gift card tag and then this is her ribbon this is her bead dangle this is the back side of hers and that's the back back cover so these came out really cute love the way they did this one's got a bow that's a little bedazzled I love these little um, beads these little pearls those are actually vintage too um, I cut those off of something something else so eek. there's some snowflakes I love Santa peeking through that's why I took that paper apart and re you know put them in different order and sewed them together cute I love the way it came out and there's this one's super cute too with the little cabochons on the deers initially the deers this is the back of this underneath them is the same thing the deers exactly like this I didn't like the way it looked after I painted over them so what I did is I took another one, cut it out, and put it on here so they would be more, I don't know, they would pop out a little bit more and they wouldn't be so hidden by all the glitter that I painted on there. 
<laughs> and I didn't want to make it too 3D because, you know, again, I mean, the way she's going to be nailing these, I didn't want to make them too bulky. Not that they're not a little bulky already, but we'll deal with that. Um, chenille on here as well, different ribbon, Yuki's cutout, did some embossing on the foil, scrapbook paper, there are those snowflakes, more cutouts, more die cuts, there's her ornament, cutouts, Martha Stewart sticker, um, another bow, more from the Hey Santa collection, some of these are a little different, there's some in others and, you know, the um, die cuts kind of vary, so it just depends and the colors as well. And there's her gift card holder. Here is her lace and ribbon and her bead dangle. The back side of hers has a little deer. How cute from a different collection. And then there's my little my little note to her saying who made this for her. There's a little snowflake in the back. Or label. I meant to say label. It's early. I haven't had any coffee. I'm tired. <laughs> and here is the last one this one I left a little more natural so you can actually see a little bit more of the chipboard that I used she's got snowflakes on hers as well this can be untied and they can do something totally different with this if they wanted to so I just kind of left that open and there is Santa he's so cute in this collection I've heard a lot of you guys say that you know if you missed out on this collection that you were sorry that you did and you know, I had no idea about the Hey Santa collection until I saw some of those videos. I'm more of a newbie as far as it comes to the paper collections. So this was really cute. The few pieces that I did find, I can definitely see why people are saying, you know, they're sorry they missed out on that collection. It is really cute. I wish uh, Frank Garcia would do principles. So man, I would have so much fun with that. Okay. So Yuki cut out, um, also, I did a video on something that I got from her recently with Pastel Christmas. You'll have to go back and look through my YouTube for that. But she did a really cute job, and there's all kinds of Christmas cutouts that she did for me. And she made a book, um, you know, that holds everything. It's a little different from this one, but you get the idea. And it's bigger, and there's actually, like, the whole Santa, the die-cut Santa. It's so cute. You have to go back and look at that. So more die-cuts. This is her ornament to be using. Um, and decorate however, whoever gets this, however they want. There's some more foil, emboss, scrapbook paper. Um, there's that Martha Stewart sticker, another bow. A little piece from the Hey Santa collection in here as well. More 3D emboss. I just got a bunch of these folders recently. And I had to use them in my old Cricut. I've been trying to use them in my my empress my anna griffin empress so if anybody knows how to make that work let me know i have not been able to figure that one out but i've just been using my cuddle bug and that's kind of been a pain because the empress is so nice i really really like those machines so i'd like to be able to just feed it through there and be done with it but i gotta figure it out here is her gift card holder and this is her ribbon and lace um i think i lost track already but i think i put this in everybody's and in Patty's, it was just all of these, just in all different colors. And then here is her bead dangle. I really like the pastel Christmas. I've never done that before. So that was a ton of fun to do. Um, there's my little label. I put it on the back cover on this one and another one because I had done too much on this. And I kind of forgot that I was going to be putting my labels in there. So I just had to get creative. You know, sometimes I things don't come out exactly as planned. And I don't necessarily chuck things and start all over. I usually just try and find a way to make it work. And that just turns out to be less wasteful. I really like reusing things. A lot of times I'll use garbage for my covers on certain books that I do. Um, and that's always fun to do. I just really like to reuse as much as I can. I have had these um, chipboards for quite a bit. I'm really happy that I finally got to use them. And I think it was really nice to be able to like use the middle pieces like the ornament for them as well this part underneath and underneath here is also part of uh, what came with these chipboard chipboard kits and I think they were supposed to be more like 3d I don't know like cards that you could make but I never use things for what you would necessarily think but I think that's pretty much everybody in this community we have so many 
um, creative ladies and people in this community. So that's super cool. I don't know. I've just learned so much from everybody. I also included a little extra for everybody. This is the sequence that we were supposed to include as well. I recently was lucky enough after um, a long time looking for the Anna Griffin folders to make the rosettes. And so I made a, a few for everybody, put them in cute little organza bags, did some tiny bee dangles. So I'll be including that for everyone as well. Patty is getting a little bit more. She's our hostess, appreciate her so much. So I made extra for her. Some of the ones I made her are the first ones that I made. So they might not be perfect, Patty. But girl, you creative. I know you'll cover up the the uh, little mistakes that are in these things. And I made some huge ones. Look at how big those are. Look at. I mean, possibilities are endless with that thing. So I'm looking forward to making a lot more with that. With that folder. It'll be tons of fun. But yeah, this is this is what's going. So I hope everybody likes what they get, whoever gets these, but I am looking forward to seeing everybody's creations. Um, I'll leave links to Patty's YouTube because I know she'll probably put unboxings or reveals of everything that everybody's sending in. And if I see any other links that I think would be appropriate to put on here for the other ladies that uh, participated in this as well, I totally will. But in the meantime, you guys have good holidays. Um, Halloween's about to come, so can you believe that? We're already at the end of the year, but any questions, just let me know. Love you guys. Besos. Bye.